NASA has sounded an urgent alarm. Pluto is not what you think. What could they possibly mean by this cryptic message? Are they alluding to the startling discoveries made by the New Horizons space probe, which have revealed perplexing phenomena on Pluto's surface? One particularly intriguing image captured by the probe shows an object seemingly gliding across Pluto's surface, sparking speculation about the existence of previously unknown life or the presence of bizarre geological processes. Pluto, often dismissed as a distant and insignificant celestial body, has proven to be a treasure trove of surprises. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by astronomer Clyde Tombaugh, and it was previously considered the ninth planet in our solar system until the IAU defined the criteria for what constitutes a planet, which Pluto did not meet. Pluto is now classified as a dwarf planet because while it is large enough to have become spherical, it is not big enough to exert its orbital dominance and clear the neighborhood surrounding its orbit. It is located in the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune that contains many small icy bodies. Its planetary status was controversially revoked in 2006, but recent revelations have shown that there is far more to this small world than meets the eye. With each passing year, our understanding of Pluto deepens thanks to the invaluable data transmitted by the New Horizons probe. The first real images of Pluto, received in 2015, revealed by the New Horizons spacecraft during its flyby, and it left scientists and enthusiasts alike in awe. What was once a blurry and mysterious world lurking in the depths of the Kuiper Belt has now come into sharp focus, revealing a dynamic landscape teeming with geological wonders. Majestic icebergs, deep canyons and smooth glacial surfaces paint a picture of a world far more alive and vibrant than previously imagined. Perhaps the most intriguing discovery on Pluto's surface is the sight of what appears to be a wandering mountain gliding across icy plains. Pluto has mountains composed of water ice, which can reach heights of several kilometers. These mountains are often form rugged and dramatic landscapes. There are also deep chasms and valleys on Pluto's surface, indicating complex geological processes such as tectonics and erosion. These features suggest that Pluto has been geologically active in its past, despite its small size and distance from the Sun. These phenomena, along with the presence of nitrogen reservoirs and evidence of cryovolcanism, suggests a level of geological activity that defies our expectations of a cold and barren world. But Pluto's surprises don't end there. Its atmosphere, composed of nitrogen, methane and carbon monoxide, undergoes dramatic changes as the dwarf planet orbits the Sun. Despite its tenuous nature, Pluto's atmosphere plays a significant role in shaping its surface and climate. The atmospheric pressure on Pluto's surface is extremely low as compared to Earth's surface pressure. This thin atmosphere is believed to result from the sublimation of ices on Pluto's surface, particularly nitrogen, when the dwarf planet is closer to the Sun in its elliptical orbit. Pluto's atmosphere undergoes seasonal changes as well due to its highly elliptical orbit around the Sun. Pluto's orbit is highly eccentric, meaning it is significantly elongated compared to the nearly circular orbits of most planets. This eccentricity results in dramatic variations in Pluto's distance from the Sun over the course of its orbit. At its closest approach to the Sun, Pluto is about 4.44 billion kilometers away, while at its farthest point, it is about 7.38 billion kilometers away. So, when Pluto is closer to the Sun in its orbit, the increased solar radiation causes some of the surface ices to sublimate, leading to a temporary increase in atmospheric pressure. As Pluto moves farther from the Sun, the atmosphere cools and some of the gases recondense back onto the surface. The atmosphere of Pluto is also dynamic, with processes such as haze formation and atmospheric escape. The presence of methane in the atmosphere contributes to the formation of haze particles, which scatter sunlight and give Pluto's sky a blue tint. Additionally, some of the gases in Pluto's atmosphere can escape into space over time due to thermal escape processes, contributing to the gradual loss of its atmosphere. These seasonal variations lead to the formation of exotic snowfall, 
covering the landscape with fresh deposits and driving geological processes. At the heart of Pluto lies Sputnik Planitia, a vast region of nitrogen ice with a distinctive heart-shaped pattern. It was named after the Soviet satellite Sputnik 1, which was the first artificial satellite to orbit Earth. Sputnik Planitia is situated within Tombaugh Regio, which is the large, bright region on Pluto's surface that forms the western half of the dwarf planet's heart. Sputnik Planitia has a roughly circular shape, and it covers an area of approximately 1,000 kilometers in diameter. Despite its relatively smooth appearance, Sputnik Planitia exhibits evidence of recent geological activity. The absence of large impact craters suggests that the surface is relatively young, and there are indications of ongoing processes such as convection and the flow of nitrogen ice. Sputnik Planitia also plays a significant role in Pluto's climate and atmospheric dynamics. It is thought to act as a large reservoir of nitrogen ice, which can sublimate and contribute to Pluto's thin atmosphere when the dwarf planet is closer to the Sun in its highly elliptical orbit. These enigmatic features, possibly concealing a subglacial ocean, poses tantalizing questions about the potential for life beyond Earth. Pluto has five known moons, each with its own unique characteristics. These moons are believed to have formed from debris resulting from a giant impact on Pluto early in the solar system's history. But Pluto's largest moon, Charon, also plays a crucial role in shaping its environment. Charon's surface is heavily cratered and has a variety of geological features, including valleys, ridges, and a dark polar region called Mordor Macula. Its surface composition is mainly water ice. The gravitational dance between Pluto and Charon influences their surfaces and internal structures, leading to the possibility of a warm interior and ongoing geological activity. Other four moons of Pluto are Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. Intriguingly, Pluto's story is far from over. Although relatively few in number compared to other planetary bodies, impact craters are present on Pluto's surface. The distribution and characteristics of these craters provide insights into the age and geological history of different regions of Pluto. With each new revelation, we are reminded of the boundless wonders awaiting discovery in our solar system and beyond. As we continue to explore and unravel the mysteries of Pluto, one thing is certain, this small world has a lot more to teach us than we ever imagined. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified about our upcoming videos.